so today I'm going to share with you how to do an easy beef, ground beef enchilada casserole and I will show you how to do your sauce so if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button so you can see more easy recipes that I'll be sharing with you guys hey guys welcome back to another recipe of mine so today I will be sharing with you how I'm going to make some beef enchiladas and this is with the ground beef I already have it um, cooking in my pan so I'm just gonna share with you what I will be adding, what ingredient, like what seasonings I will be adding to my ground beef. And for that, I will be using the Lori seasoned salt and some garlic powder, and of course, salt and pepper for flavor or taste. And I will be adding to top it off with our ground beef um, some cilantro. So I just cut up a little bit of cilantro in there just to give it that flavor to your ground beef. Hey guys, I have my chili pots here. I used about 10 chili heels and I just got a small amount of chili de agua just to give it that um, kind of like the hot uh, flavor, but it won't be that excessive hot, so that'll be perfect. Maybe about five chili de agua will be fine, five to eight. Um, it'll be toler tolerable for you to have. So now that my ground beef is almost done, I am going to drain out the excessive oil that it leaves. So that's gonna be my next process. Okay, now I'm gonna add my um, seasonings, which was the Lori seasoning. I'm just gonna drizzle, just to give your meat that flavor, and garlic powder. And I'm gonna add my cilantro in there as well. And this is optional, guys, if you want to add cilantro. And now you can just leave it as is, just ground beef. Have it in a low medium heat so your ground beef can fully cook. Okay guys, now we're just gonna add our chiles into our blender. And I have some oregano in here and we're gonna add that to our blender as well. And of course, salt and black pepper. Just gonna add just a little bit of each black pepper and salt. Half of a spoon. I'll probably add a full spoon. Half flavor. We're just gonna add some onion and a tablespoon of minced garlic. And from the same water that we have from our chili pots, I'm gonna add it in there enough now we're just going to blend this little part I'm gonna add my sauce but first I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil and we're gonna add about one spoon of the cornstarch because I do want the sauce kind of to thicken up so we're just gonna stir that around have it on a low heat now we're gonna add the sauce we're just gonna stir this and I have it on a low heat we don't want to burn our sauce or or cook it so I'm gonna put it in a low heat and we're just gonna let this simmer in for a few minutes maybe two three minutes until it kind of thickens up a little bit Okay guys, make sure you strain your chili sauce because that's what I did after I kind of um, sauteed it on the pan. But it's okay, you could either before or after, it doesn't really matter. Um, so basically I did um, chop up a little bit of onion and cilantro just to garnish your enchiladas and this is optional as well. So now what I'm going to do is I will be adding the sauce back to my pan on a very, very low heat. So now I'm just going to leave it on here for about a few more minutes. I'm just going to have it on a very low heat. Um, once it starts to kind of like bubble up, then I will turn it off. So at this point, we are just going to start preparing our enchiladas. So you can either do it like enchiladas casserole or just um, just singles by itself. So whichever way you guys would like to do that. I think I'm just going to do it kind of like in a casserole because I want the cheese to really melt in there all together. So that's going to be my process, guys. Now, the first thing is, I'm going to warm up my tortillas. Just make sure you don't overcook them on your griddle. 
with just a comal and then we will start um, doing the process in the casserole now i have my tortillas ready and i'm using half and half i'm using the mexican style blend cheese and mozzarella cheese this is going to be for your stuffing um the mozzarella i'll be adding to the stuffing and the mexican style blend cheese is going to be for the topping of our enchiladas and i'm going to spray a little bit of this cooking spray onto my casserole and i'm going to add a little bit of um just a little bit of the sauce and a little bit of the cheese on the bottom of my casserole so i'm just going to add a little bit of the sauce And this is just because I don't want our enchiladas or our tortillas to be kind of dry on the bottom. So we're just going to do this. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of cheese, which is the blended cheese. Just a little bit, and that's perfect. Now we're going to start stuffing our tortillas with our ground beef and mozzarella cheese. So now we're just going to add the ground beef. And we're adding the mozzarella cheese for the filling. And we're just going to roll these up. Just like that, guys. And we're going to put them into our casserole. Now that I already um, filled up my casserole, so now we're going to add the sauce on top of our enchiladas. So now we're just going to drizzle the sauce over your enchiladas. We're going to add the cheese, which is the blended cheese. You can even add cheddar cheese if you want. I like it cheesy, so I'm going to add as much cheese as possible. Get the edges as well. So I have one done. I'm just going to get another casserole. And I'm just going to do a few more in this one as well. two casseroles now I'm gonna add it to my oven and I have it preheated for 375 and we're just going to let the cheese melt completely so maybe around 10 to 12 minutes or even 14 minutes depends how fast your cheese melts and that will be the whole process guys of doing these enchiladas so stay tuned for how they come out okay guys this is how they came out look how delicious they look guys I gave it for about um, 14 minutes so the cheese could completely melt and they came out perfect guys so if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button guys i would truly appreciate the support and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed my recipes let me know down in the comments below as well i would love to read your positive comments guys so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one